Well, it's raining. <laughs> There's nothing we can do with the rain, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tasman, a kingdom rebuilt seashore empire. I'm your mate and today, and gentlemen, I, I, I pressed something. What the shit is that? So, ladies and gentlemen, last time we've tried, well, we've tried, we've started to do the diplomatic vision, vision, visit mission. Yeah, that's a fun first but yeah, basically uh, there's a bit of a time limit, we've uh, managed to solve the time limit and as you can see, my little kingdom, my little city is growing as intended, it's beautiful and I think I should actually let this space, you know, with uh, a bit of a, you know, gardens and stuff like that, so probably I'm gonna get rid of this carpet and shop and build it in a different, different space, like over here, next to it, yeah, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be wonderful, let's try this bullshit. And carpenter's shop, and I don't have tools. Okay, well, that's not a problem. That's something the future Neo is gonna worry about. We also need to build the monastery, probably uh, over here, you know, for the losing goose. So this thing over here is gonna get built over there. Because, as you know, I'm rebuilding this entire city. I'm making it more look more pretty. I'm making it look more advanced, I guess. I don't know, hard to say. So let's slap this bad boy somewhere over here. Actually, you know what? I, I think I could try to build a house or two. Or maybe actually leave it like for the, for the garden or something like that. That'll be cool. So if I'm gonna make a road here ish, yeah, something like this. There you go. And then we can make some decorations in the middle of it. You no. Know? Uh, so that's gonna make the city look even more beautiful. And more people are gonna pay me money. Oh yeah, and I love money. Ah, good, 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 good. The old house is ready. So they're gonna start farming for me very soon. I'm gonna actually increase the size of your fields. It's not like I have to. It's more of a, like I want to and also destroy this thing. Okay, can I actually get the uh, Some more fence over there because you know I want it to look nice I want it. I want to make this thing look super super nice. So please make a slap. I cannot slap one more over there Oh, no Mommy mommy look I'm an idiot. Well We have to work with this thing around I guess there you go and then of course not this thing this thing and then continue like this Nice! Very nice indeed. Actually, you know what? I think I can destroy this one over here. And we're gonna make like a little road around it. So it's gonna be... It's gonna be beautiful. So basically right now we don't have to worry about anything. Sure, there's still the problem, the issue with the bandits, but... At the moment they're not attacking. So let's stick to it. That we're gonna be safe. Oh yeah, also I've built a farm over here. Hmm, okay. Need to make some decorations regarding farming as well, because for reasons. So let's slap... This bad boy. I cannot slap this bad boy. Why? Okay, destroy everything. I want to see what's happening over here. Come on. Come. Not this thing. Not, not, the, not, eh, ah, there you go. Okay. So now we're gonna make some decorations as well over here. Because, well, who's gonna stop me, right? And so let's make a wagon. Okay, maybe, hold on a second. This is gonna go for. Oh, it's all gonna take so much space. Oh no, it's gonna take so much space, man. Okay, on the opposite side of the road, because why not? Yeah, there's gonna be a road over there very soon. Miscellaneous. What do we... Ooh! Hey, there are some nice stuff over here. Yeah, sure, let's let's put this thing over here. <laughs> Next to the trees. <laughs> so people can have some privacy over there. Nice. So yeah, as I was saying, we don't have to worry about anything at the moment. It's more like, you know, building crap around right now, which is, which is completely fine. What are the objects? Ooh, canals. Ooh, this could look nice. Uh, what else we could try to build? This thing? Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I could try to slap you. Here? Yeah, sure, why not? That, that looks reasonable. And of course, the next season is starting. Now it's probably summer and nobody's gonna care about that thing because I still have lots and lots of stuff to build. Ah, how nice, the monastery is finally built. Uh, yeah, we need to get uh, ourselves some metal very soon, so that's gonna be great. Right, in the meantime, I can destroy those two things because we don't need you any longer. We got other buildings that's gonna be responsible for doing this thing. Oh yeah, this is gonna save a lot of resources and space and a few more people. Uh, I've decided to build a herb farm over here because we're gonna need herbs for uh, herbs for sausages. So that's gonna be solved over here on this farm. This farm is also gonna provide uh, the monastery with grain. So, you know, that's gonna go along, I hope. Is there anything else I need to worry about here? Uh, probably no. Probably the only thing I need to do right now is... Well, to get more houses. Uh, let's see. 
Town's house. Yeah, can I slap myself like a small one over here or something like that? That'd be great. Game, please allow me to do so. Come on, game. Don't be like that. You could easily fit one over here. This is bullshit. And I think it's also a moment where I should try to decorate the other side of the city. So this one over here. So let's slap a few bushes. Okay, I think I'll be able to still make a road over there. Uh, let's destroy this old underwear. You know, the... <laughs> drying underwear. <laughs> From the main city district. Nobody wants to smell that thing, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it's fresh, but still disgusting. Right, destroy this crap. All this I have to go. Right, so that leaves me some space. And uh, I think I'm gonna destroy this old house. And we're gonna basically make like a bigger version somewhere around here. Uh, and of course, we need to make like better roads. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Destroy this old shit. Out you go. Okay, so we got some space here. What we could potentially build here? Bathhouse. Yeah, that's something I'm, I don't build quite often. So, sure, let's slap... Uh, let's slap one over here. I'm gonna pause the building for now. Uh, so I can actually see behind the building, so we can add, you know, other stuff. Oh, treasury would be nice to have as well. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna slap you. Hmm, probably somewhere over here would be nice. Or maybe... Actually, maybe over here. Yeah, I, I think slapping it over here. Tony has left your city. No! Why, Tony? Why did you left me? I've promised you the skies and you've left me, you dipshit. Uh, right, let's do this thing. Oh, it's so cozy, man. It's gonna be the best. Right. And now some decorations in the back. So, let's see. Hmm, military buildings. Probably no. Uh, probably some market square would be nice. Marketplace decorations. There you go. Yeah, I think I can roll with this one. Let's see. I can slap this bad boy here, for example. Then leave a bit of a space. And... Actually, no. Let's do this. Okay, and then we're gonna place... Oh, wait. There's a road over there. Hold on a second. Fixing the stuff. Fi no, no. No, no. The, the, but... Go. Okay, that kind of works. Screw it. I'm just gonna rebuild the road. It's gonna be easier for my soul to destroy the road and just rebuild it if unless like I want to go crazy uh, Okay, mark the place And slap one here and slap one here Beautiful Okay, so now the street ones again Something like this uh, Wait, sorry, wrong street This thing goes here, this thing goes here Then of course we have to make the street around the building because otherwise it's, this thing won't like never work And large city house Right over here. Beautiful. And maybe a smaller one? Hmm. Okay, maybe the smaller one? Oh. This one fits. You have to give to this game one thing. Like, yeah, sure. It's not ambitious. It's simple. I mean, it's gonna, this game is gonna literally run on a bloody ass potato. It's a port from a mobile phone. Right? You can run it on anything. Hell, if I would actually try it hard enough, I, can, I think I can run it on a toaster if I really want to. But that's not the thing, okay? You, like, you want astonishing visuals and don't get me wrong, like, I really enjoy the visuals in this game. But, like, you want some, you know, high flashy science fiction bullshit or whatever thing, then you go play Stackup or whatever. This game is, well, as I said, uh, it's basically like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a unwanted child of Settlers 2, I guess. That's the closest thing that this game reminds me of, like, unwanted child of Settlers 2. And this is coming from a guy who loves Settlers 2, okay? I, I honestly do. Like, Settlers 2 is, if you know, a uh, community building of a that Really? Which one? I don't see any problems over here. Oh, this one. Of course, the tavern. But yeah, as you all know, like, Settlers 2 is my my way to go, right? I, I love that game to bits. And the anniversary edition was also kind of nice. Uh, but, well, you know, well, I'm still waiting for the new Settlers game. I, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, I'll be able to, to record it a bit sh sooner. Maybe Ubisoft will be kind enough to provide me with a key. I don't know. We'll see. But, like, if you're, like, a fan of setters and you just want to slap things around and you don't want to uh, don't want to worry about enemies outside of the little, like, bandit camp over there, then this title is basically perfect for you. Like, there's no stress whatsoever. I just built stuff. The only issue you got at the beginning uh, that you have to, you know, establish the, the, uh, your economy really quick. Otherwise, everything's gonna go to shit. Oh, I don't have money. <laughs> I was wondering, why the fuck I cannot build that thing? Well, you don't have any money, 
dingus. Well, isn't that just elementary, my dear Watson? So yeah, I'm gonna fin finish up this road over here. There you go, beautiful. Hell yeah, Grand Empire, boys. Grand, why is this thing not getting? Oh, okay. Actually, let's slap you and start to build you. Uh, the other things as well, treasury is especially. Oh yeah, I'm wasting all of my gold on this thing. That's why I don't have any. Can't reach his destination. The fuck? And where the hell do you want to go? Ah, okay, I'm starting to feel that those fields over here are a bit too much. And that's why he cannot reach the destination and probably he's complaining about that. Oh, also we need to put somebody over here to work on the sausages. Work on the sausages, I said. Nice. Okay, and I'm kind of thinking about getting one more guy to work on the pig farm. Uh, we need more water. What? How? <laughs> okay. Let's design two people then at the same time. Maybe that's gonna help a bit. Alright, this is this is progressing nicely. Once this thing will be done of the city, uh, we're gonna try to develop the uh, the coastline, right? With with buildings and stuff like that. What's your problem? Oh yeah. Oh, also upgrading this thing would be nice. Wood planks. How much wood, wood planks do I have? Not too much. So probably we have to upgrade this thing first. Uh, stone. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. But that also means we have to probably get you guys. No, I cannot get one of this. Oh yeah, this thing costs crown to upgrade, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't have too many crowns. Well, that's a bummer. I should probably uh, try to plan out uh, like, you know, furnaces over here. So, let's see. I should have those things over here. Ah, smelter. Sorry, it was called a smelter, not a furnace. Okay, if I'm gonna slap you really close. Like this, that should be great. Okay, then I'm gonna need to make you a little road from the mines. And of course, there's a bunch of other mines that I would love to use at some point in my game. Ahem! <coughs> Money! Hello! Yo, where's the cash? Thunderstorm over town. Uh, great? I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Talar needed. Yeah, well, don't, don't, don't say. Hmm. Okay, can I actually, like, you know, sell some stuff? You guys won't mind sell some stuff, you know? So we can actually... There we go. Let's see. I think I'm gonna sell some stone. That's not enough, but... You know, it's, it's better to have some money than have no money. Uh, letter? Yes, sure, let's sell some letter. But probably I should try to turn that thing into armor. And that's actually it. I don't have too many... Too many goods to trade around with. Sell some of this. You know, empty my storage just a little bit. Definitely we need to get uh, ourselves some tool production around here. How, what do you need exactly? We need wood, of course. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna probably have to smack a forester over here. Like somewhere over here. And ma make him a little cozy forest to chop down trees on. Yeah, probably. Probably something like that. I would actually destroy those rocks here. Actually, hold on a second. Can I... No! Logging screen! Hmm, maybe I should actually try to build a forester over here, but it's a bit too close to the abandoned camp and over there. Which could potentially be a problem. Like, like a real, 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 real ass problem. Yeah, you lack tools. Well, what do you expect me to do about that, huh? What, what do you expect me to do? We need to have money to build a smeltery, otherwise we won't be able to get an iron. And without iron, we cannot get any tools. Yeah, I know! Scientific! Well, it's raining. <laughs> There's nothing we can do with the rain, boys. <laughs> we have to persevere. <laughs> Enjoy the rain, boys! It's just, it's just a little bit of a water, you know? You take a bath, you, you basically swim in water, right? Right? I... Uh, okay, I think I've lost myself over there for like a second. Finally, the smithy is done. Uh, I mean, the smeltery, so that means that we're gonna now take iron and basically turn it into iron ignots. And if I, oh yeah, I also need charcoal. Ah, oh, I don't have any charcoal thingy here. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna probably need another wood, wood chopper thingy over here. And this is like a nice place to set up those, I believe. Like a bunch of trees and stuff like that. So, you know, be my guest, I guess. Foster hot. Slap this bad boy somewhere over here. Yeah, I think slapping you here is gonna be a good idea. 
So with that thing done, I also gonna need to get myself the magic award is Tracker Border. Hmm. Can I slap you here? This is actually a good idea. Oh should I try to slap you somewhat closer? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Having crap, this is gonna be a longest distance to walk. Well shit boy. Okay, destroy this. We're gonna put it in the in the in the middle uh, of the of the thing I cannot build. Shit. Okay, how about here? I'm destroying a lot of wood. How about you're gonna give me some gold in return? There you go. Right. Okay, and remember for the future notice, I need to rebuild the forest. Because I just destroyed a bunch of it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you think. But progress needed to be made. People are super happy around here. Oh yeah, because they finished this thing. So that's great. We can try to increase the taxes. Sweet! Come on, build up this thing. Just a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Can you build... Oh, wait. You cannot build this thing because you don't have any tools, don't you? Right. Okay. So, plan B. I'm gonna buy some charcoal. Let's say... 17? Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold, hold the fucking train for like a second over there. Can I sell something? Meat. Is that actually gonna give me a lot of money? Nah, not too many, but... Always something. Sausages. I think I'm gonna sell a lot of sausages. There you go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Money, boys. Okay, get this thing done. Right, we got now charcoal. We got iron ore. So we're gonna get some tools very soon. Nice. Okay. Ah, my money is going in. So because I got so much now uh, happiness around here. Let's see. Taxes. <laughs> Let's see how your happiness is gonna re respond to me <laughs> increasing the taxes. <laughs> Pay up, you peasants! Pay up! So, I also built myself another uh, smeltery thingy over here, which is gonna be making me gold uh, bars. And also, we're gonna need another mine, so I'm gonna slap one over here. There we go. Okay, and I'm kinda thinking about building the other one, you know? But then again, I could potentially maybe upgrade this one, and that's gonna solve me a bunch of problems as well. So, it all depends, you know, how we're gonna look at it. You want to lose some crowns, but you actually want to, you know, save space and then and, and resources. Okay, technically speaking, that's saving resources, one way or another. Uh, so, yeah, it's, you know, it depends. You need to look on the bright side from all of the aspects of the game. And then you need to pick the best option. And then you need to, well, win, of course. Uh, I'm also gonna build uh, myself the... How do how you call that thing? The jewelry thingy over here, I believe. Yeah, so that's gonna be great. Uh, right, the resources can go to the castle, so that's nothing we have to worry about. Okay, I've built myself another charcoal thingy over here, so... Uh, we kinda need to get more, you know, coal. Because, well, obviously, if you want to get coal, we need to get ourselves some more lumbers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna slap one more over there. Okay, we got four free people that are not doing anything. Mm, okay, I think I can actually slap a house over here. Will it fit? Ah, barely. Barely it fits, but because of the mountain it won't fit. Okay, so I'm at your house then? Oh, come on game, really? Okay then, well, a city house. That kinda works. Sure, just slap it like this, I guess. There you go. So we're gonna later on destroy this one here. Okay, that solves a lot of my problems. And now, for bonus money, boys. Uh, for bonus money, what is that thing? The inn. Yeah. Yeah, the good stuff, boys. And I think we're gonna build it next to the uh, to the coastline. Yeah, that's, that's I think, gonna be great. So I'm gonna destroy this thing. We're gonna make some nice fancy decorations. Because, well, I can afford it. Okay, maybe expect of this thing. Because this thing cost me crowns. Which I kinda need for all the stuff. So that's not gonna happen. Hmm, let's see. Fountain, maybe? Yeah, sure. Let's slap one here. Slap one here, and then we're gonna make some flower beds Like this one. For okay. Hold on a second. Do you have maybe a bigger one? No, you don't Oh, okay I'm just gonna roll with the thing. Jesus, thank Christ that was loud. I'm just gonna roll with this thing, I guess Okay, can I make a statue here? No, that's gonna be great. Hold on a second. Where are the statues? Oh, statues Where are you? There you are Hmm That kind of works. And you know what? We can try to go with maybe some of this. Okay, 
cannot slap that thing over there, I don't know why, probably because of the road. Which is a bit of an annoyance, but that's how it's gonna go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's gonna go. And I would then, of course, finish off with a nice, juicy, I don't have enough money for the road. God damn it! Okay, well, we can start some science instead, let's see. Soldier sprint training, increases provisional range. Is there actually something I can use? Improve its infrastructure, improve its processing. Unlocks building upgrades. No, thank you. Unlocks building upgrades. No, thank you. Improve building needs. So basically, this gives me uh, new improvements, which I cannot afford because I don't have enough crowns. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you in the ass and you're gonna enjoy it. So with all of this thing built, I think it's actually a good moment to start to focus on, you know, actually getting myself an army and getting rid of the filthy bandits. So, yeah, guard tower. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I love this ring. Did they change the model of the guard tower? Kind of looks like they've changed it. Uh, okay, can I slap one over here? Yes, I can. Alright, so one over there. Okay, so that thing is gonna get covered. I think I'm gonna destroy this, this post thingy over here because it's completely bloody useless. And we're gonna slap one more tower over here. There we go. Now get rid of this. Let's see. Actions. Demolish. There we go. We don't need this pathetic thing over there. I got better buildings, a lot better buildings, as soon as my people are actually gonna build some of this crap. Okay, we got more people, so uh, you're gonna work at the watchtower, you're gonna work at the dock, and someone else is gonna work at this... Oh, this watchtower is getting built right away, that's nice. Okay, you're mining gold, so you two are working around the clock, this guy is now making jewelry, and I need more planks. Sissy, I need more planks. You've got to be kidding with me, me with, me with this thing. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna buy some planks as soon as the trader's gonna appear. Uh, and rocks, we're definitely gonna need some rocks. I prefer to stick those mines to work on, you know, actually useful resources. But eventually... Ah, speaking of the devil. Right, so I'm gonna need some stone from you, sweet boy. And we're gonna need also some planks. Thank you. Alright. I got so much money from the taxes that I don't actually have to worry about money at the, any any longer at the point. Okay, well, that thing is done, the warehouse, so that's gonna help uh, redistribute goods around here. Another warehouse over here already, so that's also gonna increase my item storage. Uh, my food is dwindling down, why? Because of the fish. Hmm, okay, that's a bit of a problem. Get the hunter back, and can I still slap a fisher's hut somewhere around here? Let's see. Can slap one here. There we go. So that should help a little bit. But probably eventually we have to buy uh, more fish. I don't know. We'll see. I got the money, so... Nice. Right. Like, sure, whatever. Like, nobody cares. Right. Grain is getting delivered. Pigs are getting made. My people are very unhappy, so that's great. Okay. And the inn is making me, like, a lot of money because all of the decorations. Like, this is a great investment. Once you finish all of the decorations and uh, then the inn is gonna make you like a lot of money okay it's not gonna make you a lot of money but it's gonna make you some cash right and as you can see my money is uh, rising like crazy and I need more stone right where's the trader need to buy some crap from him once again I mean I'm only buying crap from him apparently he's selling me some really low quality rocks and speaking of the devil, the devil has just arrived. Okay, I'm gonna need a little stone and a bit of wood. Okay, like this, thank you. Okay, that should solve some of my problems. Research, can I actually get something for him to sell me more crap? Eh, uh, I don't think so. Nope, he doesn't have anything of such. Who would have mentioned setting price with regard to that thing? I would love to get you know level 22 because that's gonna help me a lot more tax income on level 25 that also would be nice to have town guard so just spring training sure let's let's go with this thing i mean we have to we need to have a long walk of shame to get to the bandit camp so that's gonna be useful anyway uh do you guys would like to finish the guardings like you know today buildings thank you much appreciated okay you're gonna need some beer sausages and weaponry I hope I got all of that crap. I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, we have to wait for the merchant to come to town. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, merchant waits for you. I completely ignored the fact that I got new quests, I believe. 
Coat of Arms. Yeah, okay, Coat to Arms. I think I can get that thing. Attacker's not, uh, not fended off. Oh! Don't let too many bandit attacks succeed. So for some unknown reason to me, this stop it to, to go around. Okay, right, so we have to destroy the bandit camp very soon. Well, as soon as I'm gonna get some soldiers, Tony cannot reach his destination. Uh, do I look like somebody who cares? Like, either you're gonna get to work or I'm gonna shoot you on the spot. The choice is yours to make, peasant. Ah, speaking of the peasant, the trader is back. Okay, so I'm gonna need... What exactly we gonna need? Okay, we got sausages for days, so that's not a problem. Uh, I got some brew, but I'm gonna buy a bit more. Because I got a lot of money. So that's gonna help. Uh, okay, we're gonna need to buy... I am not making either arms. Oh, that's why I'm not making arms. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, but that means I'm gonna get myself some charcoal. There we go. I'm gonna get myself some iron ore and some gold ore. There we go. Is there anything else we need? We got this, we got this, we got that. I can get some fish. Not too many, but always something. Now because I got one watchtower over here which is not getting resources for some unknown reason to me. I don't know why. Uh, and this one's outside of its range. I went for the increasing range of delivering supplies. So let's see. It's still not within range. Why? Why is that? Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Boys. Hold on a second. Okay, so this one tower that's standing over here is basically outside of its range and I cannot do anything with it. So cancel that guy. Put this one guy over here. And why you guys are not getting any provisions? What's the problem? What? You cannot reach the, the tower or what? How about now? Can you reach it now? You're not getting any... Why are you not getting any of this? Prove its building, costs, products, range, distributes provisions to guard towers. Yeah, I have my dubs that are actually working as intended. What the fudge? What the frickity frickity frack? What the fudge? This is so dumb. Yeah, I know that you need arms, but... Repair co coverage? Workers building? The hell is this? Uh, okay, hold on a second. Maybe, maybe I need to do this thing. Also, apparently the castle can now act as a barrack. Which is interesting. So apparently the guy from the from the keep managed to deliver some resources to the, to the guard tower over here. So this one is completely useless. This one's not working at all. Tony, wait, hold on a second. Oh, I think I see the problem here. To my understanding, I think there's a guy stuck behind this building somewhere, and he actually works here. And he, because he's the only person uh, that's like not doing anything, like jobless. Yeah, that's probably us answering a lot of questions that I had over here. Okay, let's build ourselves another house, and in the meantime, I'm gonna activate. Actually, I can't activate this thing back. Hmm. Okay, we need to wait for the house. Oh, wait. He can work at the house. So why are you going to work here? This is a mystery. So now it's functioning as, as it should. The guard towers are armored, so I'm going to send my soldiers over there. <laughs> Deal with this pathetic encampment of bandits. Come on, boys. Ah, I see the first guy going around. Yeah. Charge, my brave warrior. Charge. I just hope that he's not gonna dry, die, drown, I don't know, lost, get lost, whatever you think. Ship has arrived and... Well, there's something we can do over here. One soldier? Excuse me, what? Hmm. Okay, you guys are plenty are taking a, a trip around the countryside. By all means, if you want to. That's fine. Now, where are the enemies? Oh, I completely forgot I need to build the flags thingies around here as well. He went inside! I don't see any violence. Why I don't see any violence? Okay, that's not working apparently. Uh, right, coat of arms. If I, if I need to get the flag done, which I completely forgotten. Right, okay, let's see. E yep. Okay, that's two. And now those two somewhere around here as well. Okay, how about I'm gonna slap you here. There we go. 
Worst. Done. Okay. Lame. My soldiers are going in. Oh. Would you look at that? A bandit is coming around. Uh, does anyone want to stop the bandit, maybe? You know that the bandit is attacking, right? You know that you're supposed to stop him, right? Guys. You were the bandit pa Okay, never mind. Apparently you want to destroy the encampment and you completely ignore the fact that there is a bandit going towards my... My... My encampment. Well, shit. Oh great, you've managed to beat one of my... She doesn't look very happy. Are you sure that you are translating right? I'm sorry, my king. Her dialect is not the same as mine, but I will try harder. I might have confused bandits and, and benches. She just went to sit after her long trip. You better ha try harder. After all, this is about our trade routes and orders with Queen Filrach. We cannot tolerate any mistakes. There's a lot of money involved. Oh, fuck off. My lord, she said that it would be nice to have something to eat after this long trip. We should offer her some bread produced in our own town. I disagree with the young girl. The queen looks impatient. I think we should give her something to eat immediately and not wait until our local beggars can make the bread. We can buy some at the market and give it to her. Yes, yeah, stuff it up down her throat. There's a banner going towards my keep. Hello! Yeah, I guess. My lord, I do not think our translation is quite qualified enough to represent us in the trade tracks. If you make another mistake, the queen could be very angry. Trust the maiden. Trust the advisor. Trust the maiden! I, I hope I made the right I'm sure the queen Frevert would appreciate to, disco to discover the bread from our lands. Yeah, I, I, me too! I, there is a band going towards my watchtower. Hello? Does anybody plan to stop him? I don't see how the combat is going though. That's not good. Guys, nice. uh, bandit sighted. Yeah, uh, never mind. You've managed to, in managed to intercept him at the very last second. I am bloody proud. What the fuck was that? You sure the soldiers won the battle. Aha! <laughs> Lovely. One less issue to worry about. Congratulations, my lord. We have found some coins and weapons. We did? We may have destroyed our camp, but we are still here, surrounding you. We will never stop. You better be prepared. How can you even breathe through that stupid helmet? Okay, so where's the other new camp? Show yourself! I got enough of... <laughs> I got enough of pathetic troops to send you down your way. Show yourself! Ah. Here's the bread for the Queen Ferre, my lord. Probably the best bread we have ever baked in town. Congratulations, my lord. The queen seems to be pleased with the bread. She said that the bread will sell a good price in the market because she is planning to trade route with, to us. Our bread will be known in both kingdoms. Good job, advisor. Advising my ass. Okay, complete the quest. Okay, protector. Right, relative. Yeah, okay, I don't think I have to worry about the bandit attack any longer. I mean, I've got those guards for a bloody good reason, right? Uh oh, that's not good. So what the fuck is the encampment? Bandit sighted. Yeah, I've noticed. The tower is technically speaking supposed to, you know, intercept them. I don't see any guards. Okay, they are, they are the guards. Right, but that doesn't answer my first question. What the shit is the bandit encampment? Don't tell me they just attack me from outside the map because... Screw you. Queen Fairgraf said she would have expected for there to be a place to get together. I think she is talking about a tavern. It would be a perfect place Ooh. for that. A tavern? Having a church seems more important to have in our town. Now, especially with the rest of bandit attacks, people need a place to feel, to feel yeah, safe. Okay. Excuse me, Malish, if I mess up Irrel, but I'm pretty sure she w uh, wants something like a tavern. I, I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be going back and forth, and I think that this time actually she wants a church. You sure just want the battle? Yeah, they fucking better want the battle. It was a shame of making her angry again. Trust the advisor. I got a church. My leash. Thank you for trusting me. We still need a church for the, in this village. For a long time, she, the inhabitants have been asking for a place where they can gather and practice Your their faith. Especially in the times like this, when bandits hunt the surrounding forests and you can't feel safe anywhere. And the inhabitants need a safe haven. Okay, claim. Claim. Cla claim. I've got the building. She is very glad to see our people know that got a place in town where they can get other. Told you. 
this is progressing as intended. Oh, there comes another bandit. Right, apparently destroying the bandit encampment was a terrible idea. Bandit sighted. Let's continue the tour, Queen Feva. Do you have another wish? Okay. If I understood her correctly, the queen would like to see a place where different nations gather and compare in different challenges. I think she means a jousting ground. You think? Uh, I think she means a fake ground. That would be uh, definitely a better option for our village. It will allow us to get to know different, uh, different peaceful festivities. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. I think she wants a festivity, you know? So, trust the... Trust the advisor. Ah. The queen will teach us the traditions of her kingdom. We conduct many festi festivals where we can dance and sing. Should we initiate the construction of a fairground, my lord? In it is Seems like we got it all wrong. The queen is upset. Why did you listen to your advisor? He doesn't even speak the queen's language. Fuck off, I guess? Okay, I'm getting attacked by bandits from all sides. Which is kinda annoying. Okay, so yeah, it's just as, as I expected. It's once the advisor, once the, uh, I mean, once the translator, once the advisor. Uh, we should add some more decorations in the town. Should we? New quest. Boat present. Ship wheel present. Boat present. What do you mean a boat? Where? Market. Oh, this thing. Wow, really? You want me to build this crap? <laughs> sure. I'm gonna slap it somewhere, I guess. Here, in the middle of the land. So just entering combat. Yeah, can you stop with the bandit attacks, please? For like five seconds? I'm trying to, like, think over here. Protector, fan of the attacks. Okay, that's that's gonna be the thing. So, well done, my dish. We have a really nice city now. I can't wait to share our habits and customs with our neighbors. Thank you, Governor. The Queen is enthusiastic about to drive your action. We'll now move to the trade guild for negotiations. Nothing stands in the way of successful trade agreement anymore. Yeah, you better pay me like a good amount of money after this bullshit. Okay, quest done. Quest done. And quest done. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it. Aha! Congratulations, you have successfully finished the scenario. Yeah, because I am this good and handsome. And the bandits are retreating. Peace have returned to the land. Bandits fended off. I've noticed already. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, I am I think the game bugged. And that's why the bandits didn't attack me. Because let's be honest over here. If they would be attacking me from the very beginning, this would be a lot harder than just this. Maybe that's actually was not the way I'm supposed to play this mission. <laughs> oh well. Apparently it worked, boys. And as you all know, no, nobody's gonna ask. Uh, who won the war, right? The victors write history, and this time we have been victorious. And I'm getting really tired uh, of the recording, so I think I'm gonna leave this thing as over here. I think there are like two more missions to do, so maybe we're gonna roll into them. I actually wonder will the developers plan to uh, make any more DLCs to the game? I don't know. That that's actually something I would probably uh, would like to see. Uh, you know, some maybe new buildings, you know, so maybe some more decorations, maybe it's actually changing in the visual appearance once you upgrade the building. That also would be nice. And I'm, I think that I actually managed to make uh, like a really cozy uh, coastal town over here. Like, okay, maybe, maybe actually I could try to develop this area a little bit better. But I really like how this came out. Like, I was just slapping buildings randomly around along with the decorations. But, smothering building. Oh, oh, that's just great. Yeah, that, that just have some. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I love when you do this bullshit for me. It's within range of the of the water tower, so why do you even complain about that? Okay, now just in case. Firewatch tower. I cannot slap you here. Seriously? I can slap you here, I guess. Yeah, that should be fine. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below, along with the link to the uh, DLC. Uh, and as I said, if you like simple buildings, simple games, uh, where you can build stuff, then, well, highly re recommending this little title. And as you can already can hear, my thug is getting all twisted around. Uh, so I think this is actually gonna be a good moment to leave this episode as over here, before I'm gonna rumble myself to death. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like, this episode, this episode, and see you all in the next video.